Hey guys, in today's video, there's not a whole lot going on today, just services and getting ready for what's coming because we all know what's coming just around the corner. I, um, I'm i going to show you a conversation I have with the folks over at the Gree booth at AHR about their, I think it's called the Multi-Pro condenser that's coming out or it's probably already out. It looks like it's a really good option for several applications I have looked at and um, I haven't installed one yet, but I would like to, so um, stay tuned. I think you're gonna like this. Multipro Ultra is uh, rated down to minus 22, 100% heating performance at minus 22. So after going through all the data for a whole bunch of different- Minus 22? Yeah, 100%. So like a three ton unit gives you three tons at minus 22. That's great. So we don't need heat strips for most of the country at all. That's absolutely correct. And now we also have an A-coil. So if you wanted to do, do a dual fuel application and never see the furnace come on, you, you can absolutely do that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but you said this can hook up with an air handler yep. and mini split heads. Zones. Yeah, an air handler. Uh, you can do an upstairs, downstairs application. You can do up to 10 zones on it. Well, let me, how do you hook up your air handler? Cause it uses low voltage on the flex. Does yeah. it, and then you have a communicating air handler for the mini split? Yeah, so this is, uh, yeah, this is to be a, a communicating system for your, your warm outs or your air handler. So you still got communication between them. Uh -huh. uh, you have a 24 volt option for the a coil with the air handler. Uh, but you could also use the wired controller. Those are those are included with the uh, product. What do you mean wired controller? Like, like the, uh, like the green wired controllers. You know. thermostat yeah it's like a thermostat but okay it's, uh, yeah yeah so you can use a third-party thermostat or a green controller actually the board in this looks similar to the board that's in the flex yeah there are going to definitely be some similarities uh, this would be our you know our uh, top of the line option this is uh i'm gonna be honest i like the flex because it has what y'all call the hot gas injection mm -hmm. so that you can achieve high temperatures of low temperatures outside yeah um, so they're doing a little different than the newer ver version. Going <coughs> yeah. off the plate cell heat exchanger. Off the but plate cell heat exchanger. What do you mean by that? There's a, uh, a plate. Oh yeah, yeah, they're doing it off of that. Yeah, yeah they're doing, doing it off, off of that. that. They don't yeah. have the liquid receiver tank anymore. Well, the one, they pulled off the, gas the ones off I've that. installed, it does have the liquid yeah. receiver tank, and mm -hmm. the yeah, gas that, comes off that's the top. Going on in the R32. Yeah. So effectively, it's doing about the same thing but it's actually doing it from an electronic standpoint so instead of opening and the, it's cooling yeah your, your heat when, exchanger yeah, yeah during the yeah when it's cold outside or when it's when it's well, that's different heat exchanger these yeah. about the, here's your plate heat exchanger no, no, the plate heat exchanger so they yeah. come off of that with a meter with an ev and meet a refrigerant into the compressor right. so instead of a condition. electronic or excuse me instead of a solenoid opening you know for that hot gas injection back uh -huh. into the compressor it's an ev that does that so you can regulate the amount of refrigerant that you're getting back to the compressor. So instead of it going, okay, it's cold enough, now we're going to open up this ultra heat circuit, I can slightly open up the ultra heat circuit. That's a that's a great technology. It really it is. It actually might be at times used in cooling mode too because yeah. you might need it to subcool the, the liquid refrigerant and get the head pressure. Oh, you do it for the same thing. Yeah. Is it, it the same one? valve that does both actions? It does, yeah. And that's what takes it to 130 degrees on cooling. Okay. Cool, yeah. cool. Yep. Very nice product. Yeah. So if you like the flex, definitely get one. Oh, I would. Out. I would love these. Uh, matter of fact, I got a part. If you want a part. Sure. I do hope you enjoyed that video. If you like HVAC videos and new stuff like that, how about like and subscribe? And I'll catch y'all in the next one.